Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us with a fun ocean animal called a... Spotted Eagle Ray! <laughs> kind of looks like a stingray, but this one's a Spotted Eagle Ray that we're gonna paint because they have these cool dots. So this is gonna be a good one. And the supplies we are using, we are using our brushes and I also have a big brush because I'm gonna paint a lot of the areas. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then the colors we are using are berry blue. So grab a blue. I have a, let's see if you can see. I have a dark blue and then a light blue and then a black because we're gonna mix those together. So grab any of those cool colors that we're gonna do together. And then you will see we have our paper taped down. Now this is gonna be a fun drawing lesson where I'm gonna break it down step by step for you. So grab a piece of paper and then I suggest, I would like you to tape your paper down so it doesn't move. And so I'm using my favorite, it's called the Holbein tape because it's see-through. So this is a good tape. Then always have your palette, a cup of water, paper towel, and here's the fun thing. Ready? This is called a magic, well, we've, we've called it different things, magic masking marker, magic marker. Basically, it's a cool one because when we're gonna use it, that is what's gonna create these white dots on our, on our spotted eagle. So I love this tool so much. So we're gonna use that together. Okay, ready to get started. So we here at Let's Make Art like to start with our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom. Okay. And then let's introduce you to Keenan, okay. who is our cameraman. If you've painted with us, you definitely know who he is. Hello. <laughs> so he will be here giving us some fun facts because we're going to learn while we paint. We like to do that here. So the first step is, is grab a pencil and we're going to start drawing. Now, you don't have to draw, re press really, really hard because what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase a little bit. So, the first step is, is pick a spot that you want to draw your ray. So I want my ray to be going like this, like he's going through the water. Actually, have any of you seen a ray? Maybe you've been to an aquarium before and you kind of touch the top of them? I think I've seen one maybe in an aquarium, never in real life. Yeah, <laughs> in an aquarium. So what we're gonna do is because it's going this way, we're gonna draw a curve right here. Do you see how the ray is going that way? So start somewhere here on the left. And if you wanna do this with me, you're gonna do a big curve. And again, you don't need to press too hard like that. Then what you're gonna do is on the left side is you're gonna draw another curve and then come into the middle. So you're gonna start here and go up and then we'll come down so there's our body. So it's kind of like a hump and then a hump the other way. It's like a really stretched S. Yeah. And then we're gonna do the opposite and mirror it because on the other side, it has looks the same thing, but it's the opposite. So we're gonna go up and then down and then curve to the center. So everyone's just like animals is gonna look a little bit unique. So yours may look different than mine and we love that. So remember to keep, I didn't, if I didn't say this already, remember to keep a little bit of space here. Now the reason why is we're gonna draw these parts. Actually, Keenan, can you tell us what that part of the, can, <laughs> we're gonna learn the anatomy? Yes, I can <laughs> tell you what that is. One moment, please. So we're gonna draw two ovals. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna start here on the left and draw a half oval and go to the center and do the other side, half oval and connect them like that. Then we're gonna do is add two curves to the top. So right here we have the head and the nose of our ray. So what may help is we're gonna start on the left. So if I'm looking at this, pretend that it's right here. So I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna curve up. But I'm not gonna go all the way because it has a little nose. So I'm gonna add another small curve like that. And then I'm gonna continue and go the other side like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase this line. So that's why I said you don't need to press too hard. And the reason why is because this body is one full piece. Now, if you see your pencil line, guess what? We're gonna be painting our ray really, really dark. So it's okay if you still see your pencil line. So don't worry about that. 
I found what its name is. Okay. It's called a pelvic fin. That's what these are? Yes. Great. So you drew the pelvic fin. And what did we just learn about their wingspan? How big do these guys get? So they get big. I don't know if it's their wingspan, but they get up to, check this out, 16.4 feet in their overall length. And if, how tall are most kids probably? Uh, four four feet? foot? Between three foot four and four foot so seven. So four of you kids about, yep, is that fair? Roughly, yep. That's the biggest one. Yeah, that's how big they can get if Some their tail them. is not damaged. Mm. Oh, so it might be this way. Right, that's what not they're saying. Not necessarily this way. So I think this way is what we learned, which is on our sheet. This is basically 10 feet. Right, between nine and 10.8, almost 11 feet. So this is so big. Yeah, that's a giant. It's a giant animal. Okay, so then let's do, so like Keenan said, this could be 16, so we gotta draw a really long tail. So you're gonna come at the end, and you're gonna draw a curve and a curve, have fun with it. And then you're gonna go over here, and you're gonna do the curve, and I'm gonna make it parallel, which means I'm gonna do a similar lines as this, but then I'm gonna connect at the bottom. Do you see how I did that? Cool. Sweet, and guess what? You did it! You just drew that. Good job, you just drew an eagle ray. So good job, I'm so proud of you. Now, the next step is, is let's grab our masking marker. And if you have never used this before, what I want you to do is I want you to open it because you will see, let's see, can you see this on the side? Yeah, so this tip is white. So if I were to paint with it, nothing happens. So what we need to do is we need to wake it up, as I like to call it. So you're gonna put the cap on, make sure it's on tight, and you're gonna shake it, and shake it for about 15 seconds. And do you hear there's a little ball inside? So that's shaking up the liquid that's inside of this pen and moving it around. And so what this pen is, is it's called masking, which means that we're gonna draw it, and then when we paint, it will resist the paint. Okay, so we're gonna test it. And if you have our box, you have a guide that's called the how to start the masking marker. So that may help you out. So remember to shake it, take the cap off. And I grabbed an extra piece of paper. This is just an extra paper. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the tip down to the paper and you're gonna press. And hold and count for another 15 seconds. So let's go five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And if nothing happens, that means you're gonna repeat the steps. So you're gonna shake again. So it might take a few times, maybe even three times, but don't get discouraged because it'll come, I promise. So I'm pressing and I'm gonna try to go up and down a little bit more. Oh, <gasps> whoa, look at that. So it came through, so that was a lot, but what we're doing is we're drawing it and there's our blue line. So maybe that's the trick, is to pump it up and down while you're doing it. Sweet! Okay, so we have that ready. Now what we're gonna do, set that aside, is we're going to draw the dots on our ray. So use your marker and really just draw polka dots. You can make them really big, you can make them small, you can make as many as you like, but draw them in different spots on the full top. So this actually, did you know, is that these guys are swimming. So we're looking, pretend like we're looking and we're on the water, in the water, like you're snorkeling. Have you ever snorkeled? Um, yes, yes. Yes. It terrified me. Really? Yeah, I wasn't very good at it because you were in the open ocean. Huge open ocean. Yeah, it was a little, a little scary at first, but I love it. I think it's so peaceful. But that's what we're doing. Pretend like we're snorkeling and you're looking above and you're look, or you're looking, you're above this ray, you're looking down and this is what we see. So it's swimming on the bottom of the ocean, so we're looking at the top of it. Now, I drew my dots and what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that dry 
And then we're gonna do is we're gonna mix some colors. So we have, I'm gonna take some of my sea blue and my berry blue and just mix them and see what happens. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to make, I'm gonna do it on here. You're trying to make a, like an ocean color. So you get to pick if your ocean color is more dark blue or light blue. Cause actually depending on where you've been in the ocean, mm -hmm. all oceans are different colors. Some are more green, some are really dark blue. Ooh, but look at that color we got. And these are found globally in tropical regions. Mm. Can you name some tropical regions? Oh yeah, uh, that's what we learned is these guys live in the open ocean. So what we're gonna do while we learn some more fun facts is I want you to grab your brush and actually let's make sure I wanna make sure this is dry a little bit. So if it's not, then take a little bit break. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go for it. So you're gonna grab your brush. Now I'm gonna use my really big brush because we're gonna paint the whole thing. And dip your brush in water. And if you are right-handed, I want you to start on this side because what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this way. Now, if you're left-handed, start on the left side. But what we're gonna do is pretend like the waves are going like this over the stingray. So I'm gonna start, let's start here. And we're gonna paint over it. Whoa! What? Look at that already! Do you see Super that? Super cool! So I need some more water when I'm painting. They're sneaking through. Look at that! Like bubbles. So I'm painting in this direction because my waves are going this way. Now, if your waves are going a different way, then you can paint yours that way. Ooh, this could be fun to add if you have other colors. It could be fun to find a way to add like a, a red or a pink Ooh, and make that a rocks make a purple? underneath. Ooh. But that might be hard. No, I like that idea. Okay. We're creative, this is your painting. Now, this is watercolor, so we always need to have a little bit of water and that will help. But yeah, I love Keenan's idea of coral. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, coral. Yeah. Okay, so I painted the whole background, but guess what we're gonna do? Is because if you've ever looked at the ocean, when the sun is shining, it shimmers. And so you see some glistening and some different parts. It's not just a straight blue, right? It has a little bit of ripples. So mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is grab a different, so I'm grabbing my round brush. Now, if you don't have that, Let's see, I'm gonna test it. If you don't have that, you just have this brush. Dip in water, and what I want you to do is I want you to paint diagonal lines, and we're gonna paint with just water. So dip in water, and draw a line. Oh yeah, this works. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that, woo! So you can draw them in different spots. So what we're doing, is this is one of our favorite watercolor techniques where it's called wet on wet. Oh, I did a drop too. Nice. Look at that. A little splash. So because my paint was wet and then I'm adding more wet water, that's why it's called wet on wet. And the cool thing, do you guys see what happens when it dries even more? It expands and becomes its own family. It's exploding. That yes. was so cool. <laughs> okay. So now what we need to do is we need to let it dry for the next step. Okay, so I'm going to use my handy heat it craft tool. And if you don't have this, I want you to take a snack break because we need this to be fully dry before we do the next step. Okay, go. Okay, so we are back. So my painting is all the way dry. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, the next step is grab your masking marker again. And if you can look at my example, do you see how there are some white spots and there's some blue spots, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more layer and that's gonna create the different colored spots. So shake your marker again. Let's practice to make sure it works. Yep, we are good to go. I love this marker so much. Ooh, you okay. You could even do lines instead of dots on this part. So yeah. it looks like waves going, the blue waves going over Ooh, it. okay, I'll try it. So you mean that way yeah. or the other way? No, that's right, to go with Because waves. my lines are going? Yeah. Ooh, okay, we'll do some lines. 
add some more dots. So we want to fill it all the way in. Now, your painting is blue, so you might not see them as easily because it blends in, but I promise we will see it when we paint. Do you want to know a fun fact? Yes, please tell us. Okay. Do you want to know what they eat? Yeah, what do they eat? Worms. What, there's worms in the ocean? O they're called ocean worms. Do they float in the ocean or are they on the ground? They they swim, walk, they own a business, they have 401ks. <laughs> well, they're pretty accomplished worms. Wow, okay. Crustaceans. Mm. Cephalopods. No idea what that gastropods. Is. Okay. And small fish, which <gasps> makes sense because those things are huge. Yeah. They're like four times you, a kid. That's wild. Pop quiz. Go for it. Do spotted eagle rays give birth to pups, chicks, or kittens? Not kittens. Okay. Not chicks. Okay. And not pups because puppies are dogs. Well, puppies are and dogs, but they actually give birth to pups. Pups? Like P-U-P-S? P-U-P-S. What? Yeah. They have little pups? They have little pups. That's so cute. They have anywhere from one to five pups at a time. Oh. Yeah. What did we learn? What animal has just one? We did it. We've done so many different animal projects. So we've many done a animals. tiger. We yeah. did lion. Does it, was it the sloth? Sloth has one. Oh yeah, sloths was that it? have very uh, yeah yeah only yeah. one at a time. Right, one to two I think actually. One to two, so kind of like yeah. humans. Yeah, like humans, <laughs> but slower. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do is while this is drying. We're going to make some navy. So you will see that this is a darker color. Now, I don't have a navy. If you have a navy, you can grab that. But to make navy, what you're going to do is you can make it. So we're going to take our berry blue. I'm going to put that in here. And then I'm going to draw. add one drop of black. Oops, that was two. We'll see what happens. So we basically darkened up the blue. Ooh. That's going to look cool. <gasps> Whoa, that's pretty. Ooh, that's really gonna pop. So I'm gonna take, we don't have purple right now, but what I'm thinking is we can do Keenan's idea where this, the, our ray can have lots of different colors in it. It doesn't have to be one full color. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna dip in water, hit it off to the side, pick up your paint, and you're going to color in and paint your ray. And guess what, when you're doing it, do you start to see the different color dots? Oh, there's the lines. Cool Keenan. lines. Cool, I'm gonna mix in some blue. So mix in some different colors and see what happens. Oh. So what's happening is that we layered this project. So remember we started with, we started with the dots first and then we painted on top of it. So those are these ones. Actually, no, let's see which one. These are these ones. And then we painted another layer, or we added more marker, painted another layer. So that's what created all the different colors. I love your idea, Keenan, about the lines. Does it work? Yeah. Yes. I mean, you can decorate your, your ray however you want. Yeah, you can do your initials. <laughs> or two plus two. That'd be fun. It could be a math ray. Oh. It's a fun project. Look Whoa. at that. So do you see all the different colors that are happening? Now, here's the thing. This masking marker is you can either wait till it dries and you can use your finger and you can rub it off. Let's see, do I have any on here? I don't think I have any on here. But if you use it, you can rub it off and it'll make them really, really white. Or you can just leave it, because I really like the way it looks, right? I do too, I like the different colors it makes. Yeah. So, guess what? We're done. What? You did it! Spotted Eagle Ray, check! This is such a fun project, and I'm so proud of you, because you drew this. You were so brave, and you did this. And I want to tell you that we have another fun project, and we're going to give a shout out to Lalitha, and she did our sandcastle project. Isn't this amazing? So good. So she drew it, so I thought if you are at the ocean, or the aquarium, and maybe you go, and there's the beach nearby, and there's sand, you can make a sandcastle and draw your own. 
So this is another fun project. We have so many other ocean projects and animal projects. So don't forget that if you love animals. And lots of fun facts. Yes, thank you, Ken, for all the fun facts. You're welcome. <laughs> so thank you for painting with me. I hope you had so much fun and we wanna see what you make. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. I forgot it for a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we want to see you. And always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye.